Today it's Power Golf. We're looking to power up your golf swing. We'll use driver for this. We're going to talk about maximum stretch. When do you reach maximum stretch? Do you reach maximum stretch? There's a point you should reach maximum stretch. The master of this is John Ram. The master of this, did you see what I did there? Clever. He gets this right every time, we'll get this right every time, so you can get this right every time. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're already a subscriber, welcome. If you've not clicked subscribe, please do so. Also click the bell notification and the thumbs up button that shares it around YouTube. Also check out my website, eurekagolfswing.com. So maximum stretch in the golf swing. Take the club back, trolley back to here, boom. Feel the stretch on the left side. We get to here, left arm parallel to the ground. Club shaft 90 degrees from left arm. Good hinging, would you agree? Of course. There, there, feel the stretch, feel the left arm, feel the club shaft. Oh, that must all be good stuff, is it? Well, not really. I've just moved this camera around for daylight, so I'm gonna hit back down that hole. There's nobody here. So maximum stretch. So we take club back. Oh, when we get to here and left arm straight, and we've created the 90 degree angle. We don't want to create that on the backswing. John Ram does not create that on the backswing. John Ram creates the maximum stretch and the 90 degrees to start the downswing. So club comes back and we get to here. And then on the way back down, it's very easy from there to come out of the 90 degrees and throw it too early. We've all done that motion before. And we know that's not ideal. That's a lack of power. That's running out of right arm. So right arm straightens too early and we throw the club away. Some folk call it casting. John Ram, short swing. Let's get the club back. We're going to now take the club back to create that power and that lag and that maximum stretch. We take the club back, 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 back to here. Now let's not wrist hinge too early. Let's keep that club away from us. Eduardo Molinari style. He was out here, up to there. So when we get up to here, we've still not got a 90 degree bend between left arm and shaft. We get maximum stretch. We take it halfway back or three quarters of the way back to there. And then from there, we come down. So then from there, we're creating the 90 degrees to start the downswing. And that's the maximum stretch up the left side. The maximum stretch starts the left downswing. The 90 degree angle is put in at the start of the downswing not in the backswing. So it's all downswing stuff. In the backswing, we're keeping things as neutral and natural as possible, keeping the hands and arms nice and quiet, keeping the swing short, and then from downswing, we can rip hard into impact. So as John Ram would do, let's, let's be John Ram. Okay, we get to here, and we've got extension. We've not lifted up. We've kept that club extended out there. Good width, sorry. And then from there, that, that, that. That's what we want to try and feel trying to keep that club head away from the right hand as long as possible. So there, and into there, there, into there. Oof. Okay. That felt a bit funky. Back, 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 back to here. Left arm's parallel to the ground. Club shaft is not at 90 degrees yet. From there. And then from there I go up. Now that looks like 90 degrees because of the angle of the shaft. And then I moved it around, look at that, that's it. So I'm there, there, there. Best way to feel this, move the handle before the club head. Move the handle away before the club head. I'll exaggerate. Move the handle first, handle, handle goes, club head goes, body fully stretched to start the downswing. And then the 90 degrees appears, and then from there we can throw that away through impact. That is a great sensation, that's a great way to feel it. Handle first. Dress position there, handle away first. And of course that's going to reduce the, the speed in which we get to this position. So if I'm there first, I've got a negative angle. So negative angle up to there, super positive angle on the way down. Let's try one, take the hand off first. Who did this? Who did, th Colin Montgomery. He looked a bit like this, didn't he? He was hand off first. It's a hand off first guy. Trying to keep the swing short as well, that's hard for me. It's good. It's good again. 
But after I can rip hard into this impact, once I get this, I mean, that's only two shots and it's quite tricky. I, I believe that is quite tricky. I know it's quite tricky. But with a bit of practice, I'll be able to feel lag. I'll be able to apply more force through impact because I'm starting from a shorter backswing. So I can really be aggressive with the body turning through to create that lag and reduce that 90 degree angle or encourage the 90 degree angle degree angle at the start of the downswing. Maximum stretch up the left side, where is that? Start of downswing. So once we get to maximum stretch, that's the trigger to start downswing. So arguably it's top of backswing or start of downswing. I would say it's start of downswing. So I'm going to exaggerate here. I'm going to get to there. And then from there, I'm going for maximum stretch. The club head stays up there. And a maximum stretch of here. There's the lag. There's the position. 90 degrees. And then from there, I can throw it all away. But I can do it hard, I can do it quick, I can be fast and have a good rip at this. Oh yes, that's the best yet. That felt the shortest swing, best result, ball went the furthest. I'm doing that again. <laughs> that was, that was tremendous. Good again, really good again. I feel as though I'm hitting that hard because my backswing's short. There's, there's, I feel more like I'm reacting to something as opposed to getting up to the top and then come back down. I feel as though I've got myself into positions to or alignments that I get myself back and ooh, let's go now. Let's go before we finish that backswing. It's like there's a there's a there's an urgency to to start downswing before backswing finishes. So I'm there. I'm, I'm here, and I'm thinking, oh no, I now have to react. Oh yes, oh yes, do you see how the practice swing becomes the swing? So I try not to stop in between, so let's just do one more. So it's practice swing, practice swing, practice swing, and then recreate, so the practice swing is a full rehearsal of what's going to happen. So I'm here, feeling, here, feeling, and then the third feeling is actually the swing. So I don't pause in between. I don't take practice swing, practice swing, then gather myself. I just fully go for it and try and make that practice swing and the full swing feel exactly the same, like there's no change. The golf ball is a hologram and I'll swing through the hologram. So I'm taking handle first to get that width and then body to create 90 degrees, so the stretch. So I'm trying to make this practice swing there feel exactly the same as the swing. So I'm there, 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 there. Oh, oh yes, I need to go find all these golf balls from that rough. <laughs> the rough is between the two fairways. I'm playing back down and aiming for the rough. Get the message. Well, that was super constructive. Thoroughly enjoyed that. I did like that. Give it a go, leave comments, let me know how you get on. Also check out my website, eurekagolfswing.com. But before you do that, click the subscribe button, it's just down there, costs you nothing. Go for it, I'll see you in my next video.